Facebook was founded in 2004 to give people the power to share and make the world more open and connected. More than 1.3 billion people actively use Facebook each month around the world. That's almost the population of the country of China. There's a lot of information online, so I was fortunate enough to be able to find many strengths and weaknesses for Facebook as an organization. There were also some conflicting information, which made it a little bit difficult to find out which one was true. But overall, I definitely found a lot of strengths and weaknesses for the organization. The founding of Facebook was so interesting that they made a movie about it called The Social Network. It started out originally as The Facebook, but was soon changed to just Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg created and launched Facebook while he was a student at Harvard. He was sued by a few other Harvard students early on, saying that Mark Zuckerberg had taken their idea. Facebook has about 13,500 employees with offices all throughout the United States and throughout the world. They provide a variety of different career paths and take interns all year round. Facebook does not really have company rules, but they do have values. Their first value is to be bold. Their second value is focusing on impact, so how their work impacts the rest of the world. The third one is moving fast because they know that they need to be quick and the first ones to get out a new fresh idea. The fourth one is openness because they want to make sure that they have an open and welcoming community environment within their workplace. And the last one is building social value because they want to make sure that they are building value for people to connect with friends and families and loved ones. Facebook as a company has a lot of strengths. It's been ranked number one as one of the best companies to work at. They have low stress levels and high satisfaction ratings. This is probably because they offer great programs for expecting parents and sick time. For example, with their um, expecting parents program, any parent, whether it be a mother, a father, adopting parents, and they're also inclusive of gay, lesbian, transgender, and non gender non-conforming people um, to make sure that they all get time off when they have a new child that is in their family. They also let employees donate to the charity of their choice through um, ads that they put on Facebook, which also helps employees feel more satisfied at the end of the day and provide really high salaries for each employee. Their average salary, yearly salary, is $148,000. They also have lots of food available and services. For all of the positive aspects of Facebook, there also are some downsides. High salaries that Facebook employees are paid definitely come at a cost when it comes to working long hours and being on call sometimes 24 hours a day for a few days. People have a lot of loyalty to their company at Facebook, which is similar to when the textbook mentions subordination of individual interest to general interest. That is clearly happening at Facebook. There's a lot of freedom in the office, but sometimes it makes employees feel as if things are unorganized. For example, there are frequently beer pong games in the office. This could be considered unprofessional, and even though it may come from a good intentions to make everyone feel more inclusive and closer as a group, it's still considered unprofessional. I have a few recommendations for Facebook to strengthen some of their weaknesses that they currently have. First, Facebook might need to hire some more employees. Right now, their employees make a lot of money, but they're also required to work too many hours and really bad hours. So if the current employees don't want to work these long hours, they should be lowering their salaries and hiring more employees to be able to make up that work or ask current ones if they're willing to continue to work for that salary. In order to prevent burnout, Facebook should also consider adjusting schedules to be more flexible. Since Facebook offers so many benefits, like food, they may want to do research on services their employees want to better serve their needs. So, for example, asking them what kinds of food they want instead of just providing every food under the sun might help them um, lower their costs and then also provide the best kind of food for their employees. And finally, professionalism is really important in the work environment. So things like playing beer pong in the office should be reevaluated on whether or not it's making the office environment too comfortable and maybe scaled back to be more professional. With over a billion users, Facebook has to be a complex and unique company. They have a diverse set of employees that receive great salaries and benefits. These employees are expected to work long and challenging hours for those great salaries. Facebook's professionalism is sometimes questionable, but it also seems like a very fun and energetic place to work. 